Val, congratulations on your contract renewal. I just wanted to start on, on the club and, and what it means to you. Well, it's a very special place for me. Um, you don't stay at a place for over six years if you don't feel like it's your home. I've had a lot of battles here, a lot of ups and downs. But uh, there's, there's a sentimental feeling when I come here every day. I feel like I am progressing here and we will eventually get there. I do want to bring some silverware to this team. As much time and belief they've given me, I feel like it's the one thing I want to do and achieve whilst I'm here. And what about the club makes it makes it so special? Fans obviously are big, a big important part of any feeling at a club. It's the boys really, it's the staff and the boys around you. You're on the field with them, you battle with them every day, you suffer together, you enjoy your success together. And there is something special here. Everyone can have a great time. It, uh, the way we stand with each other when we don't also is a very important aspect. And I've learned a lot from a lot of previous boys that were here, a lot of great stuff. So combining all of that and all the previous generations that come before you, who've worn the jersey, spent so much energy, time and pain here for the team's success is, uh, is a real motivational factor. I'm very humbled to be a part of this team for another three years. Val, obviously, you've played with some great players uh, during your time at the club. I just wanted to, to talk about this group now, and there's a real feeling of, of togetherness within the squad, isn't there? Yeah, but like I said, we're taking every day as a challenge and using our time wisely, and we're in kind of a anarchic state of pushing as hard as we can, whatever we can, whilst the body is obviously healing, so... But uh, it's been a very difficult season for me and for the boys. I mean, losing nine in a row, but I see how much, how hard they work, how, how hard they care about it. And these scores haven't been huge differences. They've been minor little things here and there, which we will correct and we will eventually get right. And I just feel like I still have a lot more to give to this team. And there's so much disappointment. I still sit in the background and I feel like if I just work hard enough, if I just stay focused when I come back, I can make a difference for them. And you know, that's, that's my way of showing my love and gratitude to the team and the boys by making sure that whatever time I have off, I use it constantly to make sure that I am back 100%. There's no point in me coming back and saying, oh, it took a long time. I need to ease my way back into the fold. I got time slowly reintroduce me. No, when I come back, I must deliver. So. That's how I look at it and that day will come when I can get back on and I'm looking forward to it. You were doing pretty well before your injury, so you're really hungry to, when you get back out there, to sort of rip in and, and hit those levels that you were hitting before that. Hitting those levels and hopefully exceed as well. I don't think any person really wants to be static or any successful athlete, I don't think, tries to follow what they did. It tries to improve it and the moment you feel like you can't improve and you're already chasing what you were, then that's where you actually, I think, you start feeling like it's a step away from the game and everything else. But every athlete is different, of course. But me personally, I always feel like I want to better myself than I was before. And the answer is always simple. They're the fitter, they're the stronger, they're technically gifted, they spend more time doing this. It's very easy, the question and the answers are very easy. And whether or not you want to devote yourself and sacrifice for that is, is up on you. So I see it very easily and uh, I'm very motivated and very looking forward to coming back basically yeah and in terms of the team obviously you mentioned the the difficult run that the team's gone on in the yes. premiership you're with these boys week in week out training how confident are you that that this group can can push on i wouldn't i wouldn't say this team is underachieving i think it's a lot of boys brought together under a system and it doesn't work straight away. But once you've got 15 boys devoted to that, and then as you see now, the scores are coming towards us. We're winning, winning, winning. Then that success becomes a hunger. and You start chasing it and you start improving. We don't look towards the past. We don't really care about it. We learn from it, of course, but we set it aside and we'd be very harsh with ourselves. And that's the great great traits of the team that have that we just put it aside and we go even harder we learn from it and everything and it's just been uh, it's been a great privilege to play along these players and like I said the past is the past we haven't achieved anything I haven't achieved anything whilst I'm here so I'm looking forward to a great uh, great couple of years and very tough years ahead I'm looking forward to it and obviously another important part of the, of the group of the coaching staff 
I know George in particular is someone that you've said has been patient with you and, and really helped you. I just wanted your thoughts on the, on the coaching staff. He's been one of those coaches where uh, time, the more time we spent with each other, the more we understood each other. Great coaches are the ones that can not only put great players in great positions, but they understand each person's personality, understands they have to treat them differently. Not that anyone should be more privileged than the other, but how to get the best out of a certain player and just basically understood who I was and worked me towards a state of mindset and play where I could utilize my skill set in ways which would be very effective towards the game rather than quantity quality. So that was our big fundamental and we just built our relationship along and trust and it's, it's just very simple relationship with me and him have, you know, what does he want? What do I need? And then that's it. There's no other conversation about it. So let's just go get the results. And finally, the probably one of the most important parts of this club, the Gloucester Rugby fans. Yes. They love you. What are your, what are your thoughts towards them? Oh, they're amazing. No matter where I go, if it's in Gloucester or Cheltenham, all these people coming up around the stadium or if it's a, outside the club, of when are you back? want you back and it just really sh knowing how much it means to the fans and how much they care you know it it motivates you wakes makes you wake up early it makes you go to sleep late you know it's it's just constantly on your mind and that's what's brilliant and if you want to succeed then that sort of pressure and that sort of fan base is very important for a team's success so thank you to all of them for how patient they've been with me and hopefully when I do come back I can show them what I'm all about.